Hello, welcome once again to Inspiring Farming if you're new. If you're not, it's really good to have you as part of the family. So, are you interested in poultry farming and you have been having a hard time deciding whether you should go in for broilers or layers? If so, then this video is for you, pay close attention. And if you are already into poultry farming but you are not making profits or you are thinking of switching between the two, then this video could equally be very useful to you. So pay close attention. It's very important for you to understand that there are a lot of differences between these two systems of poultry farming. These differences ranges from startup capital to profitability to the entire cost of production, your availability, the marketing, cost of medication, feeding, and the rest. And unless you understand very well the difference between these two systems of poultry farming, it will be very difficult for you to make a decent profit as a poultry farmer. So that's what we are going to be looking in this video outlining these differences and bringing out what suits best for you if you're thinking of starting a poultry farm or switching between these two. To begin with, what are broilers? Broilers are birds that have been bred and selected over time to come up with chickens that have genetic potentials to put up enormous weights in a short period of time. Hashed with an average weight of between 43 and 45 grams, they are capable of putting up to 3 kilograms or more in 6 weeks. As a result, they serve as meat chickens. On the other hand, layers of birds that have been selectively bred over time to come up with breeds of hens that are capable of laying on average an egg a day. So, they have the genetic potentials of laying more than 300 eggs in a year each. Having said that, let's start looking at the factors that would affect how much money you make, whichever you choose, whether you're going into layers or you're going into broilers. The first factor is marketing. You should not produce anything until you have found a market for it. It's very very important. Whatever you do as a business or in farming or whatever discipline that has to be an income source, a service or whatever, make sure that there is a market for it. So you've got to do your due diligence to find out in your community this is very important because you need to have a ready market available before you start farming. For example, if you're going to be producing chickens, you want to assess the number of restaurants that you have in the community. You want to assess the number of hotels or grill houses or businesses that need chicken for their day-to-day -day operations. Another important point to consider still in chicken farming will be seasonality. For example, during festive seasons like Christmas, going into broiler production could be a very good option because you know that the demand for broiler or chicken meat is very high during these seasons and also you will have a good price and market. And if you would rather like to go into egg farming, you have to assess the number of bakeries in the community. For example, when I say bakery, I'm not talking about bread makers. I'm talking about bakers, those who are into cakes, event planning and things like that. You want to look at the number that you have in place to supply. You want to look at other stores that are retailers of eggs and things like that. You want to look at other retailers who can buy your eggs and then retail them out. So once you establish that you have at least five or six connections, solid connections that you can supply, whether meat or eggs, this should be a very big signal for you to determine 
which of the two to start farming. The second important factor to consider is the startup capital and the turnover time frame for both broilers and layers. Unlike broilers, layers are capital intensive. That's to say you will need more money to start up an egg farm than you need to start a broiler farm. The reason is because first you will need everything you need to start a broiler farm. You will need a shed but for layers you will need maybe two sheds. One for raising the birds and the second shed with your laying boxes or nest. So you're going to spend more in making these boxes and nest and making patches. Secondly, the turnover time frame for both is different. In two months, you could have a turnover with your broilers, but the turnover time frame for layers is approximately two years. Clearly, you see, broiler farming is a short term, part time, or full time investment, while layer or egg farming is a long term, full time investment. This information is very, very important because if you plan to go into poultry farming part time and you make the mistake of going into egg farming, you might end up losing a lot of money because egg farming is a full time business. You would have done a lot more better if you stuck to broiler farming. So you have to do this assess the need in the community before you even begin. Also, be truthful to yourself with how much capital and time that you have at your disposal. Another important aspect to mention is the cost of medication. For brailers, because they are going to be spending approximately six weeks on the farm, they are going to require less expenses for medication. However, for layers, the reverse is the case. For the first six months or so, you're not going to make any money, whereas you're going to be spending on vaccines and you will also be spending on other diseases that chickens suffer from when they get older. So as a result, you have to be prepared to go at least six months without an income from your farm if you will be engaging in egg farming. Now let's consider another very very important point that will affect greatly your profits which is the cost of feed. When it comes to raising these two category of chickens the cost of feed is totally different broilers require feed with high metabolic energy and high metabolic energy means more crude protein and high cost of feed production so you, if you'll be going into broiler farming in order to fuel these birds up to three kilograms in just six weeks you will need to spend a lot of money in feed. This is because feed components or ingredients with high crude proteins which accounts for this high metabolic energy needed by broilers are very very expensive. So that accounts for the reason why feed production for broilers is very very expensive. On the other hand, layers do not need to put up a lot of weight so they do not require high metabolic energy feeds so as a result they are on the saving end when it comes to feed production so i'm going to talk about one other main point before i conclude and this point is preservation so the question is how do you preserve your end product whether it be it chickens or be their eggs. 
For example, if you raise chickens, after six weeks, any other feed that you're giving to your birds is taken out of your profits. And if you are into egg farming, what happens if you have as your eggs and the price is not good? So these are the options that we'll be discussing under this point. So first, to avoid this problem, in whichever sector of poultry farming that you choose, I'd like you to make sure that at every given moment you have at least five customers who cannot do without your product. That is to say, people who depend on you to run their own businesses. It's very, very important. Now, in the worst case scenario, if you are into broiler farming, you will need a deep refrigerator or cool house to slaughter and refrigerate your birds at six weeks. For layers, it's important also to have a cold room. If you don't, then you have a little bit of an elapsed time let's say like one month most eggs can last that long but the trick here is don't forget that within this one month that you claim to be keeping your eggs for better prices you are harvesting more eggs so at the end of the month if you don't succeed in selling those eggs you are also stocking another batch of eggs so now you have two months and believe me or not the first month is already getting bad so it's not a safe heaven the best thing to do is to have credible demand sources so that said to conclude this video i like to say both types of poultry farming are very very profitable provided you are in a community where there is demand if you're in a community where there is demand for x you're going to be profitable if you're into x production long term if you're in a community where the demand for broilers are higher and you're into broiler production whether full time or short term you are going to be profitable what will be wrong is if you are in a community where the eggs or the meat demand is very low and you are producing it you are going to lose money so that said both types are profitable what you need to do find a market check what capital you've got make sure that you have the time to dedicate yourself into any sector that you choose if it's short term if it's long term and you will be profitable having said that i wish you all the best in farming and please don't forget to comment in the comment section below telling me which of the farming types you think is more profitable and why mm -hmm.